Wow, that was such a great drop off. I had a good conversation with the customer as I was handing him his order. That brings up a good question. Are customers our enemies or are they our friends? Hello, my name is Russ. I've been doing part-time food delivery five years now. So I'm your pro when it comes to advice on how to improve your earnings, your ratings. This is why I make videos to help drivers like you. Have you ever considered when you're out getting busy doing food delivery, ride share, grocery shopping, why are we doing this? Yes, it's for the money, but who are we helping? How valuable are the customers? Well, let me tell you, there's many reasons to be personable with the customers, and that includes getting tips, maybe an increase in your tips, and you can just experience a little bit of joy throughout your day knowing that you're helping people. So why exactly do the customers need us? Well, we're making their lives easier. They're busy. You have moms and dads at home cooking for the kids. You have business executives traveling. You're giving them rides to the airport. You're bringing them food. In other words, we're helping them. So when we're out shopping or completing that order, let me encourage you, just talk to the customer. They want to have that human interaction just like we do. We're out by ourselves, generally alone all day, and it's nice to interact with someone else. And you don't have to do it for a selfish reason to get tips. Naturally, the tips will come because they're going to see that you are a person, you're hardworking, and you care about them. So give this a try. With your next customer, just break the ice by asking, how's your day going? Or what are you up to? And you might be surprised at how this can lead to a valuable conversation. So when you're out and about doing your job, you're gonna come across a wide variety of people in a wide variety of moods. So if you're cheerful and upbeat and happy to be doing your job, you might brighten their day a little bit. And you could just ask them, how's your day going? And go from there. You don't have to go on and on, but just that quick little connection, you might be surprised where it leads. When I did rideshare, for example, I gave a guy a ride who has broken down on his bicycle. You might come across people that are differently abled and you're able to assist them because they're not as mobile as you. And that's why they rely on our services. You can also empathize with the customer. They might have a lot of business meetings. They might be traveling. There's a wide range of things going on. Keep in mind, everybody's a human being just like you. So treat them how you would wanna be treated. Another side benefit of interacting with our customers it helps break up your day. I know I'm always intently focused on making money, dollars per hour, dollars per mile. Well, how about just relax for a minute and interact with the customer and just see what they're up to. You may be surprised that helps break up your routine and it puts you in a more relaxed mood. So what if you're an introvert? What if you do this job because you really don't wanna talk to people? Well, let's look into that next. So not everybody's gonna always be outgoing and personable, but there are just a couple things you can do. If you're shy, introverted, if you really don't wanna talk to other people, just smile. You'd be surprised how that can lower people's guard and make them happier. Just give them a smile. Next, if you really don't wanna talk that much, just say hello or hi, and then hand them their food. Just start there. Later, you can work up to just asking, how's your day going? Or if you notice something about them that you can comment nicely. And you might be surprised just by saying hello, then they might ask you what you're up to or things that are going on. And the conversation will naturally progress from there. So it's not something that you should stress out or worry about. And if you want to experiment, just try it on your next customer. Cause you know what? You're probably not going to see them again and you'll be on to your next. So you have multiple chances to improve throughout the day. And if you want to see an example of that, just look at how do you feel about me right now? Now, what about this? Do I seem a little bit different? Can you tell the difference between being dull and just a little bit happy? Again, you don't have to go overboard. So join me in the comfort of my car. Wow, it sure is hot outside. That's one benefit of living in California, but it's also pretty hot. 
So as I've done food delivery, I've come across a wide range of people. I'd be surprised all the times I've been able to help someone that I wasn't expecting or give some good counsel, some good advice to someone who was hurting. You'd be surprised at how you can help if you just open yourself up. And I'd like to hear from you. What tips do you have for fellow drivers on how to improve our communication with customers. And you know what, if you've gotten value out of this video today, please do like the channel and like the video. And your comments really help YouTube get this out to the world. Thank you. And one pro tip to help you if you're not comfortable creating a lot of conversation with customers, just stay away from questions where the answer is going to be a yes or no, because that'll end the conversation right there. Instead, just give them open-ended questions, something where they can take the lead and go from there. And maybe they'll ask you a question and you can just give a simple answer. This is just one small way of connecting with our customers. They are not our enemies. They're our friends instead, because you know what? Ultimately, they're paying our paychecks. And again, we're in our cars. We're out and about a lot by ourselves. And I like being by myself a lot as well, but it helps break up your day when you realize we're helping people in their daily lives. And so anything that you can do to brighten that up is going to cheer them up. It's going to encourage you as well. And naturally, it all comes down to tips and earnings. And you might be surprised the customer might increase your tip. They might give you a tip on an otherwise no tip order. And naturally, I'm not going to ever turn down money. But I'm not always doing this just for money. I really want to connect with my fellow human beings, and I trust that you do too. Is there a simple way to communicate without talking to the customer? Absolutely. One thing that I do is when I'm a few minutes out, I'll send a text message and I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. I want to connect with the customer. That way they know I'm coming. And I also want to help protect myself and build up a bank of good reviews. And that offsets any negative reviews so that I don't get deactivated. How can you learn about that? Well, check out this video next and I'll see you there.